He told him everything, son. It wasn't nothing that he missed, cuz. It wasn't nothing. Let me start from the beginning. Let me get page one. Get page one right quick. We got, uh, Edwin. let's say, we're going to do this right, man. This is, this is, this is shit everybody be talking about. That shit. This shit. All it is. That shit. <laughs> All it is. This is what we talking about right here. We talking about my yeah, brother. What's up? Statements, charges, all types of shit. Everything that you can get a nigga a bag with. <laughs> God damn, bro. This is the infamous statement, though. Infamous. Infamous statement. Uh. Hold on, hold on. I met Boosie and New around the same time I started working for UPS. We started as just as a, hey, what's good, you got a cigarette type acquaintance. Later turned out to be, can I borrow your car out for gas? And, and I said, yes, and due to my low income. After being laid off from work, they offered me money to ride them around the rural area. They asked me if I wanted to make some extra money. All I had to do was drive. I said, yes. I drove them around in Imperial, Plaxton, Silver Birch, Snowden, Cedar Brook, Mount Pillar, Pleasant Run, and anywhere they knew there was an abandoned house. <laughs> I would stop down the street and Boosie and New would leave and come back with either cop or household items. They asked if I could pawn the seller items, jewelry coins, to, or cobble. Well, I met through Boosie. He showed up one day, I was supposed to let Boosie and New use my car, but instead of driving to abandoned houses, Will insisted on homes that weren't abandoned. That when I decided to stay behind and let them use my car, they came back with household items. That's what you will. TVs, laptops, jewelry, etc. But no cover. <laughs> Those times again, I drove down to the pawn shop and pawned the items for them, and they would give me money to put gas to eat usually a hundred or less, depending on what they were able to sell. One day at the hotel, Boosie and New asked me if I could drop them off at the shopping center to meet up with Will to get money he owed him. I went back to the hotel and waited for, for their car. They called back to pick them up ASAP, and it was an emergency. Boosie, as soon as he got the car, he told me he had bad news. He said we went to a house with Will, and the police chased him, and Will got caught. Then I received a call from my mother that the police were looking for my car 